Disclaimer, this is the parody of a real event, a reenactment of a totally 100% factual happenstance, and is for those with a sense of humor, or existential dread, whichever fuels your engines there, buckaroo. Enjoy the ride, my friends. Our story tonight begins with a comment reply that changed the internet forever. This may be the greatest, most savage Reddit reply of all time. A riddle wrapped in a meme, a mystery served with secret sauce. Did it spark joy? Debate? A deep philosophical journey into the depths of the human psyche? Find out tonight. I'm the Blind High Guy, and this is 60 Mimics. Greeting, Internet Denizens, cat video connoisseurs, and people who misclick the thumbnail. Tonight, we're venturing deeper than a Minecraft streamer looking for viewers, and we're gonna unearth a gem that is worthy of the ages and as rare as a functioning comment section where it all started. As these legends often do, this sprouted up from the fertile soil of Reddit. That virtual watering hole where you learn how to grow magic mushrooms, become an atheist, hate your parents, find out if you're the asshole, and discover opinions that are seemingly bot-generated misinformation. Our journey takes us to the fantastical realm of Ask Reddit, where weary-eyed travelers pose questions to the hive mind. On that day, a brave soul posed a question an inquiry if you could have sex with one real person from all of human history who is your ultimate lay the court jesters played their usual games calling forth tales of feast and folly of the likes of cleopatra madonna taylor swift even abraham lincoln but one comment rang out one comment was different phil 8248 says I'd like to have sex one more time with my wife who passed away from cancer nine years ago. My body yearns for hers. The ultimate downside to finding the one is that she may die young and leave you wanting. Oh my god, I want to jump off a bridge now. That is so sad. Jesus, bro. Jeez. Fuck. Jesus, bro. It warms my cold, cynical heart. A Redditor with a username something obscure had the greatest reply, in my opinion, of all Reddit history, and that is... <laughs> Just kidding. I also choose this guy's dead wife. And you pretended to be shocked at my vibe. Interesting point about the meme reflecting societal expectations of mourning. Perhaps, Socrates, we should inquire why mourn in a single way? Could choosing the dead wife, if even unconventional, be a deeper form of remembering and cherishing her memory? Choosing the dead wife be seen as yearning for the ideal form of love, untouched by earthly flaws. However, the chasing shadows in the cave, this may be impractical and unfulfilling. True love might lie in appreciating the unique, messy reality of the living partner. Was this a dark roast that would make even Gordon Ramsay blush? A cringeworthy kick to the emotional shin? A philosophical riddle disguised as catchy phrase? Did it ignite laughter? Spark conspiracy theories? Or leave everyone wondering, was it a profound commentary on society? Can it save us? Is it the messiah? Is this video over? Yes, 